the closed alpha for Wild West Online, the gunslinging, gold mining MMO, has kicked off, opening the saloon doors to any card shark, outlaw and cowboy who bought the Pioneer a Collector's Edition. This first alpha will run for three weekends. Gold is what's going to be driving the action during the alpha, developer 612 games explain. In this version of the game, players will need to mine gold and even work together to create mining camps with other players. It's dangerous work, however, as the precious resource will need to be hauled back to towns to be sold, and banded players will be able to intercept the car guard, stealing it from its rightful owners. This is a rough version of what the game will be, but it's not a fully scoped game, says executive producer Stefan Buggage. We're giving players a glimpse at what the game will be, as well a chance to directly influence our development process by giving feedback in response to a true game alpha. We want to hear constructive feedback and work with our community to build a game that can be enjoyed for many years to come. The first weekend alpha will run until the 18th, followed by two more 2,225-291. Then, between October and November, a second alpha test will be with persistent 217 servers and a new map. That'll run between October 10th and November 15th. We saw a hands-off demo of the game in the summer. Here's what James thought of what he saw it may have been slight and far too early to see it in action, but the short demo convinced me that WWOISNT being designed as a lazy cash grab. The world is massive, gorgeous, and the systems within weren't built overnight. With the right tuning and player population, it feels capable of fulfilling certain aspects of the Western fantasy. I'm just not sure how interesting it'll be in a large-scale, live environment.